This is Nina from Wamda. I'm sitting here chatting with Noor Khais of Meisel Ward, a Jordanian gaming development studio and publisher. Noor, how are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you, Nina. Um, so let's talk about the gaming, the developer culture that you've built at Meisel Ward. What was your approach to that? We started our own uh, culture of uh, flat it's a flat management style of work where everyone is responsible about his, his own work, own project. Uh, we don't have, for example, working hours. We don't have uh, uh, deadlines. Our deadlines are fun. And our working hours, whenever, whenever we, we, we feel doing uh, our work. Uh, since we started, we, uh, we continued with the same style of work where everyone is, is, is involved in decision making and everyone is involved in the uh, game making process, which is because everyone is, is, is a gamer. Noor, how do you keep people motivated uh, when you have flexible hours and sort of project-based structures? How do you make sure that the quality is there and that people are really incentivized to work hard? Uh, believe me, when, when, when you are transparent and when you give uh, trust to people, this is one of the major things to motivate people. Knowing what's happening around them and knowing what's their input uh, within the environment they are involved in, that's a motivating thing for any, anyone. Plus, you know, the standard, we, we do that, we have the standard, uh, what we, go, we call the uh, Google model of uh, motivation. Everyone is, is having like 10% of his time to create whatever he wants and, and, and to create, you know, related projects or not related projects to what, what, what we are doing as, as, as commercial side. So we have this huge R&D process that is also motivating people. In addition, we have a stock option that we, we power our people with the stock option and they have owned a share of the company. Can you discuss some of your more successful games and what went into selling them? Our most successful game is, 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 uh, is called uh, Cocktail Mania and, and another, the same uh, label called Domino Pro which uh, in a uh, bestseller in, in, in Thailand, uh, Russia and Brazil for the, for the past couple of weeks. Uh, but our, our start, starting uh, uh, game that we started and made us success was Trex. It's the card, local card game that took us in 2003, 2004 to, you know, to be recognized. Uh, then later on, we launched with one of the major TV uh, uh, in the Middle East, a game called Balut for the Saudi market and the Gulf area market and Kerem. Uh, again, it's, it's, um, it's a type of casual games that we keep on tracking and, 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 and offering the market. Today, uh, the challenge is, you know, being in Thailand is not the same thing being in the Middle East. I see. And speaking of the Middle East market, um, there are a lot of game development studios coming on the scene in Jordan or that have come on the scene, you know, certainly in the past five years. Do you ever feel pressure from the younger players uh, or is the market still unsaturated? <clears throat> Actually, uh, we suffered in the past, we, we started early, as you know, Nina, and we suffered not having gaming companies around us uh, because when you don't have uh, uh, what we call competitors or the ecosystem around you, you, you suffer by putting your product in the market. So we are happy today to see um, kind of gaming companies around us. It's enrich us as much as it will help them to gain from our experience. Um, uh, it's a healthy uh, growth that we believe that uh, we, we, we would like to see more and more within our country in Jordan and in the Middle East. Uh, basically today, um, you know, still we are in the early stages of an ecosystem, which is which what we keen to, <coughs> to have. Uh, <coughs> sorry. And we are keen to have as, as an ecosystem. So competition is lovely. It's like a, a football team. And always you have people coming from uh, different, uh, uh, different areas and, and there's, you know, you have to play and compete and, uh, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good, healthy thing for, for the region itself and for the growth of uh, the gaming uh, um, uh, industry in the Middle East. Good. And what would you advise a young game developer coming on the scene now, especially in terms of um, developing <clears throat> a sustainable gaming culture? my colleagues, fellow uh, companies or startups that will come that to focus on, on the growth and see the numbers. Uh, a game is a game. 
whether it's on on a PC or on a mobile or a physical game. If you are a game passionate, myself, I started by loving the board games, and I, I, I when I was a kid, and I was you know living all my life in a in a game style within within the board games. Then uh, electronic games came in my life, but a gamer is a gamer, and and that that's you know regardless of the platform. If you want to start up and do commercially a business that will sustain and, and scale up, today the scaling is happening in the mobile and the online. So my advice is the mobile and online games. And is there any particular other market? You mentioned Thailand. Is there any particular other market that you look to sell to or cater to or that you would advise a young developer to learn from? We used as software companies always focus on the Gulf area and Saudi Arabia and wh wherever there is near us. Yes, the culture is, is closer, can reach easier, but that was in the past where we had to, to travel and you had to do efforts to reach a market. Today, app, app stores and, 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 and open the whole universe for us. So sitting in Jordan and, and we already were selling in, 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 in countries like Mexico, uh, US, and now we, we reach a top level of, of uh, sales in, in, in Thailand. And yes, the guys are all sitting in Jordan. So, so, so the, the world is flat. Don't focus on a market. You can scale, get a good product. A game player or a user, what I call them these days, is, is the same whether in Jordan, Saudi Arabia or on Thailand or, or, or the US, we all have the smartphone, the same internet bandwidth, almost the same browser. We are all on the Facebook. And so scale it up. The world is flat. Thanks for chatting with us. My mind. Thank you.